Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Pot. And today, I got two dips going head to head for the big game, sweet and savory. Which one will you choose? first dip we're gonna make is a jalapeno popper dip. I know you might like jalapeno poppers, but this is a little bit easier than fooling with all those jalapenos and making a stuffing where we can just put it all together and bake it, okay? So those things are gonna go into this bowl. We have cream cheese, and we're gonna beat that up first. Gonna drop some cream cheese in the bowl. Whisk that up a little bit. And we're gonna add some sour cream, and we have some mayo. It's like as if you were making like a spinach dip, but the other ingredients are jalapenos instead of spinach. So I got that in there. And then here's our sour cream. Sour cream. And our mayo. Mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip, y'all. Not, not the sweet stuff. Okay. We're gonna whisk that a little bit more to incorporate that. Make sure you get it all whisked up. Whisked up. And make sure your cream cheese is room temp because you don't want no cream cheese that's hard because you'll be whisking all day. I'm gonna go really fast. Knock it out. Mm, looks so good, looks so good. So I got that mixed up. We're gonna throw in, I use two green onions. So this is the bottom of the green onion. And so the bottom of the green onion is the white part. You wanna go all the way up until you start seeing green. And we're gonna do something with the top of the green onion, or scallions, whatever you like to call them. We're gonna throw those in. And who don't love jalapeno poppers without bacon? Mm -mm. You gotta put your bacon in. So this is about, how I many things of bacon I did? I think I did about five, six strips of bacon. And then, you need jalapenos. Okay, so my kids are not big fans of spice. So I did one less jalapeno. So instead of doing four, I did three. But you can add four, you can add five if you want extra spicy. And then I cut those up. Um, clean them up and cut those up using gloves because <laughs> once upon a time ago I had a friend and I hope she's watching this because she'll know exactly who she is had a friend that cut jalapenos without gloves on and she swelled up hands swelled up face you name it it all swelled up she had to be rushed to, not rushed but she had to drop to the emergency room to get a steroid to take her swelling down so you know who you are if you see this video. Um, and then we're gonna mix that up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. And when you cut your jalapenos, make sure you take the stems and the seeds out, because if you don't, it makes it super, super spicy, okay? Oh, that looks amazing already. Now, we're gonna go in with some cheese. I have Kobe Jack and cheddar cheese, and you're just gonna dump that in. And this is about two cups. But I wanna save a little bit to sprinkle on the top. Okay. Ah, I got cheese flying everywhere. Save a little for the top. Okay. Here, we're gonna take these. I like to take all of them and put it in the bowl. Okay. Mix it up. We're gonna scrape those edges down to make sure we get all the jalapenos and stuff in. Scrape down your edges. Make sure you get your jalapenos and your cheese in. Stuff on my hands. Oh, that looks so good. So make sure you get all the way to the bottom of your bowl and make sure you got all those ingredients incorporated. 
So from the looks of this, it looks like I got a lot of jalapenos. So it's still okay. I'm gonna put it in there. And we are going to spread it out. And you can bake this a day ahead. Or make it and then freeze it and then take it out and way, way ahead. And freeze it real good. And then, oh, I dropped the piece. Make it go in the bowl. Spread it out in your pan. Yeah, but make ahead and freeze it or make ahead, a day ahead. And it's gonna be great. Take it out, make sure you kind of defrost it. Don't make it, let it come up to room temp. Do not, and I repeat, do not bake it from frozen. Or it will take all day. Okay. And so we're gonna add our cheese to the top. Oh my gosh. Remember it's cheddar and Colby Jack or whatever kind of cheese you want. I like cheddar cheese and Colby Jack. I like them both. Make too much. Gonna put that bacon on the top. Bacon, bacon, bacon. It's bacon. Put as much bacon as you want. We like bacon. Don't we, James? James, yeah. you like bacon? Yeah. <laughs> James love bacon. And then, when it's done, we'll put the green onions on top. So this is gonna go in a preheated oven of 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And it's gonna be so good and bubbly. So here is our jalapeno popper dip. It's, it smells so good, it smells a little spicy, and it's cheesy and bubbly. And now to top this off, all we're gonna do is sprinkle on those green onions. Oh my gosh, and it's perfect. Like it's, Beautiful. And then I served it with some tortilla chips and some crostinis. Like you could just, I made these. So you just slice up a baguette or a French bread and put some olive oil butter, some garlic on it, just like you would with garlic bread, but cook them a little harder. And you can serve this up for the big game. It tastes so good. So hope you try this. For my second dip, if you got something savory, you always gotta have something sweet. So this is gonna be a brownie batter dip. I love a good dip. So we're gonna start with cream cheese and I'm going in my mixer, cause it's easier. If you got a hand mixer and I can't get the cream cheese in there. Um, if you got a hand mixer, by all means use your hand mixer. Um, let it be room temp. And then I'm going in with my Quip. for dairy-free whipped topping. And I'm gonna throw in some, like a, literally a box of brownie mix, the powder. Throw that in there. It's as if you were making brownies, but you're not making brownies. Ugh. And then you're gonna start mixing. If my mixer would turn on. I bet you it's not plugged up. And it wasn't. <laughs> Here we go. And you're gonna mix till that is totally incorporated. And then I'm gonna add some milk. I got about two tablespoons of milk. And I'm gonna mix that in. Get a little wetness in there. Oh, it's coming together good. Mix that really good. And then close to the end, I'm gonna fold in some chocolate chips. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks amazing. If you like brownies, without baking the brownies and using egg and all of that, this is a very good alternative. Y'all, it's literally done. Y'all know I like a one pot throw-in type deal. Look at that, it's beautiful. 
beautiful. Shake off that whisk. The kids are gonna like the whisk. And so what you're gonna do is take about a cup of chocolate chips and you're gonna dump that in and fold it up. When I say fold, I don't mean stir really fast. When I say fold, I mean do just like that. Ooh yeah, look at that. Put that chocolate chips in the brown and mix. And then that way you can like get your sides and you gotta put a little arm muscle in it because it get a little thick. But get to the bottom and fold over. Pull it to the top. Bottom, fold up, pull it to the top. So after it's all mixed up, you're gonna drop it right here in this bowl. Ooh, it's a little thick. It's a little thick. But it tastes so good. If you got a lot of people coming to the house, you can always double it. Double the recipe. Ooh, get a little thick, y'all. Get a little thick. And what you're gonna do? I'm gonna top it off with some more chocolate chips for decoration. And that's it. And you're gonna serve it with some graham crackers and some strawberries. Mmm, strawberries. Or you can add some um, pretzels. Sweet and salty goes very well together. And there you have it, a good Super Bowl brownie batter tip. And there you have it, my take on jalapeno poppers and brownies. Which one will make it on your game day table? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Beyond the Pot. See y'all next time.